Hello, 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 and welcome to episode 591. Yeah, sounds right. Of Proper Review, and today, oh, he says, oh, it's so heavy. I'm talking about the Stephen Wilson remixes from Yes. I've already done the night unboxing, which has been very, very popular. Thank you for going to watch that. Please watch it some more and watch the adverts. Thank you. Um, See, so yeah, I've been spending all my time, all my time meticulously logging and detailing and um, taking notes and writing down every difference between this and the original studio albums. And I, I've been... No, I haven't. I can't, I can't. I can't be doing with that. I've got a life. I've got. Someone suggested that in the comments that they wanted me to. No, 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 no. You see, we This is a. This is. This is a strange situation. This is a difficult situation to be in. Um, I would compare this. This. This is comparable to Schrodinger's cat. I believe you know. You know that thought experiment where the cat is in the box with the poison. And is it alive or is it dead? But it's, it's dead and alive at the same time. Well, we've got Wilson's Remix, which is a similar concept where it is both the best and the worst at the same time. How so, Darren? Well, you see, because I've got to, I've got to appeal to to the people that, that like this kind of stuff and those that don't. The people that don't like this, <laughs> people that do. So, yeah. And there are various points. There's a checklist that you need to get to, to tick to get through this, of whether or not this box set is for you. I was going to do a flow di flow night diagram, and it got a bit complicated. It started off with, "Do you like Stephen Wilson? Yes or no?" <laughs> and then it branched out, and it just got it just got tricky. It just got tricky. Ah. <sighs> So I'm gonna I'm gonna summarise really quickly. If you like Stephen Wilson's remixes, you may consider this box set. However, if you already own the DVDs, Blu-ray or DVD, yeah, DVD Blu-ray versions, or the CD, you know, you know the ones that were reissued that these are based on. If you already own those, there's no need for them unless you really like vinyl, and you have the money. Right. So that's that's one aspect. Now, if you don't own the Stephen Wilson remixes on Blu-ray, DVD and CD. If you don't, and you're, you like vinyl, and you might want to upgrade, you know, you might want a supplementary copy, then these are okay. If you don't own any Yes on Vinyl at all, and you think, ah, oh, this, this is a one hit, stop you know I can get it all all in one box celebrates yes 50th anniversary as well okay it's got Stephen Wilson's name written all over it <laughs> what are you gonna do about it eh? um, then you may consider this however there are caveats there always are caveats the price when I got this this was um, I think it was something like 90 pounds or 91 pounds on Amazon, this is shot up by forty quid to about one hundred and thirty pounds. There's probably shops that have it even higher, right? Now, for the record, I paid. Oh, what did I pay? I paid a, a, a grand total of about four quid for the set because I saved up my vouchers because I knew this was coming, and I was interested in it. And you know, I didn't want to spend any money, um, so I've been saving up my Amazon vouchers. That's why it's always important that you click the links. And you know, if you if you want to buy something on Amazon, use my affiliate link. And I get the, the pennies, you see, and then I can do this. It makes my life a bit easier. And you don't have to give me money. See, the, the people that complain about e-begging, the ones that never give anybody any money or help anyone, now they're all, they're all, they're all riled up now, you see. Oh, no, he's, he's, he's a, he's a rock. He didn't even pay for it. However, like I said, it is expensive. I think 130 quid is expensive for... What is essential? What is essentially how many, how many, how many albums is it? I've got to count it. Is it five albums, six discs? That's that sounds right, doesn't it? You know, so that is a lot of money. He says. Because I guess you're assuming that if you bought them sing, I don't get if you bought them singularly, I suppose it'd be twenty quid a pop. So that'd bring you up to hundred and twenty. So because uh, they are hundred and eight gram vinyl. <coughs> We could we could debate this. However, what do they sound like? 
they sound really good. They sound really nice. I enjoyed my experience with them. I enjoyed it. It was nice. It was a nice afternoon. I ran into Saturday and I had a, like I said, I, if you follow me on the Twitter, you know I played a lot. Yes, and I enjoyed it. It was nice. Um, the, sleeves are, the sleeves are very high quality. The pressings are nice and oh, thick and sturdy. And, you know, the only thing I've complained about is like you haven't got perfect bound um, binding on the, <coughs> excuse me, on the booklet that comes with Fragile. That's loose, but apparently that's what the American release was like. The British release, it was perfect bound into the spine. I didn't know that. I only had the, the UK release. Also, the, the inner bag for uh, Close to the Edge is not printed with the lyrics on. Again, the British version was green with the lyrics on, kind of handwritten. I don't know if that was the same in America. And the inner bag for Relayer is very flimsy, whereas we had a kind of stiff card one. Um, so, but apparently, again, somebody said that's the differences between the UK and US release. So, yeah, in terms of quality, very good, very high quality. Um, you know, the printing is great, and you've got the different sleeves. Again, if you if you got if you could you could have them on display as as art. You know, um, you could do that. Um, what else can I say? You know, so that, that's 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 a nice thing. That's a nice thing. It's a shame there wasn't a booklet, you know, just to, you know, to say that this, it should have been, you know, yes, 50. I think they should have maybe put more of an emphasis on it being the anniversary year as well. So that's kind of that. But the actual pressings themselves, I went through them. Um, again, if you've heard the, the, the stereo mixes that Wilson's done, they're fairly clean. You know, they, they, you do pick up a little bit of extra detail in them. They're not radically different. In, in any way, uh, though I do prefer the 5.1 mixes because it does open everything up. Um, again, I wouldn't say they necessarily replace the originals, and I think Wilson would probably agree with me. They, they are a byproduct of his uh, remix in the 5.1. Are they essential? See, this is why I needed a flowchart. Are they essential? No. But they're a nice thing to have if you're a collector and you're a fan. Um, is it a cash grab? No, because it's a way of getting these on vinyl, um, you know, in a different format for the first time, and they've collected them all together. Um, yeah, it's just the price. It's just the price. I think again, if it had been eighty nine ninety nine or something like that, I think, I think that's a much fairer price of it. Uh, so yeah, I went through and I listened, and you know, I even I did my comparison. But I'm going to go on a bit here. Because I've always, I've always had an issue with my original vinyl copy of Relayer. It always sounded, I don't know, wrong. It was just, I always, oh, I just couldn't, you know, it just didn't sound right. Mind you, neither, the CDs didn't sound right either. Um, so I listened to, I've listened to this. I actually listened to it the first side twice, and I also brought my original vinyl out, and I played it to the missus, and I said, "What do you think?" And uh, she kind of summed it up for me. She said, "Well, yeah, you know, they're good. They're good. They're good mixes. But you can't beat the originals." And even, she said that even for Relaya. And I said, "But, but Relaya, it's kind of got that metallic edge to it." And she said, "Yeah, but that's what makes it good. That's what you know. It's that bite. It's that crunch. You know, because it's kind of it's, it's got this metallic sound to it. And like real. That's the only way I can describe it. It's kind of a roughness. Uh, and the the Wilson mix is, is smoother. It's just you know, and a little bit quiet. Again, these are these vinyls are a bit quieter, just, you know, because there's no compression. You know, he's just laid them out flat. Um, so yeah, when it came down to it, which version did I prefer? I preferred my original, even though, and this is the oh Darren, you contradict yourself. Yeah, I know, but the penny dropped. The band wanted the album to sound like that. That's why it sounds that way. Whereas this version, you know, is Wilson's vision, and it's obviously there was there was maybe some compression used on the original mix or something. There was something in there in the mix that gave it that that metallic. So I can describe it um, edge that clang, um, and that's kind of lost on 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 this one. Uh, but that's not to say it isn't a bad mix. They're they're ple they're pleasant enough, but you've got to ask yourself: Do I need these records? Are these records for me? 
you know, and you're the only person that can answer that. I can't answer that for you. I can only talk from my experience. I had a lovely afternoon with them. I think they sound nice. It was nice to put them on. <clears throat> uh, excellent pressings. You know, you, you wouldn't, I don't think you'd be disappointed if you bought them. But, it's again, it's whether or not you need them. I mean, if you've got the originals and you've got good copies of the originals, probably not. But if you're a vinyl fan and you've got the money on the hip, you might sway towards that. Think of it as a as an extra, as a bonus, you know, something like that. I wouldn't say that they're essential. The same way as I, I've never really thought of the stereo mixes of any of Wilson's remix work of be, as being essential. It's always been the 5.1 mix that attracts me. That's the that's the money shot. That's the pop shot, if it, as it were. Um, so yeah, I'm, I've probably I've not answered your question, have I? I've not really given you, you know, a lot of people say, should I buy this? At the end of the day, it's your money. You've got to make that decision. I can only talk from my you know area of experience. Would I keep this box set? That's the question. Now, part of me thinks, well, I could just flog it on, get the money, pay off my amazingly large debt. Um, you know, I could keep it. It's a nice thing to celebrate. Yes, fifty. Because the only other alternative is the rejig of Fly from here. That's the only other thing they've brought out to mark. You know that big year, you know. So the fan, the fan in me is like kind of leaning towards keeping it because it didn't cost me anything. Nice thing to have. The art, I do love the artwork, and I will probably put them on the wall. I think the new artwork's cool. Uh, some will probably say it's sacrilege, but you know, we can agree to disagree. Um, but I mean, I'd always again, if you if you can't afford this stuff, don't buy it. Just wait. You never know. Might, there might be a price drop. We've seen it with Roxy Music uh, Deluxe Editions and other um, vinyl editions. You know they've come down in price, but on the, other, on the flip side, sometimes they sell out. You know I don't know if this is a limited edition. I don't know what you know what amounts have been pressed. Nobody do, nobody does. Only only yes, I would imagine, or their management. Um, so yeah, it's. It's a nice thing to have. It's a shame it's got the Stephen Wilson remixes on big letters on the front. I should have called it something else because, you know. <laughs> oh, what else are they going to call it? That's the thing. What, what else are they going to say, you know? Um, but, you know, I had a good time with it. So, you know. Uh, oh, oh, dear. Oh, dear. So, in terms of rating, oh crikey, this is a tough one. Because I could come at it from three different angles. Four, maybe four different angles. If I'd never heard yes on vinyl for the first time, that's what I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna give four different four different <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna give it four different. It's the only way out. It's the only way I can escape these chains. Um if you've never heard any yes on vinyl. And you don't want to get the old editions because, I don't know, some hippies rubbed his balls against the, the sleeve or something. I don't know. You've got your reasons. And you just want a nice, clean, fresh box. You won't be disappointed. It scores four. John Anderson's out of five. Because, you know, it's a good thing. It gets one knocked off for the price. If you own all the original vinyls and you don't really care much for... Stephen Wilson and his remixes, and you're happy in your world. This scores one Alan White out of five. Doing well here. Doing well. <laughs> if you really love Stephen Wilson, and you've got loads of money, and money's no object, and you just can't wait to get your greasy mitts over that new artwork, because you love the new artwork too, it scores five Bill Bruford's out of five. Yeah, Good, isn't it? Good, this. But you know, if you're a little bit down the middle, you know, you know, you're not too sure. You know, maybe maybe your past, maybe the five point one wasn't interesting for you, and and the, and the vinyl's the thing, and maybe you've got a birthday coming up, you could get it for your birthday. In that case, it scores three Chris Squires out of five. It's true. Um, if you're Stephen Wilson, perhaps if you're Stephen Wilson, and they send you a copy for free. And your, your ego is going to be inflated by it. Then it scores five 
Rick Wakeman's out of five. Yeah? Yeah? I'm trying to think of, is there any more demographic left? Um, uh, they've, got, they've got the vinyls. Haven't got the vinyls. There's a. If you're if you're just a dead a die hard yes fan and you eat everything up and you've bought everything, you're gonna love this and that's why it scores. Uh, uh, who, 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 who have we done five Tony K's out of five? But if you're completely indifferent, indifferent, and you don't really care much for yes, or and, and you, maybe you just want an introduction, maybe you just want it, you just you know, you gonna then it's two and a half Steve Howes. And I think that's I think I think I've done it. I think I've worked that one out. I think I've covered all bases. I think I've no one has been disappointed by this review. I think we've we've struck a happy medium. This is the ultimate prog review where everyone is happy. Everyone is happy. Okay? Phew. So anyway, my name's Darren Lott. He said, oh, itchy nose. Oh, it's the heat. It's so warm. Eight days of, 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 of blue skies and sunshine. Uh, so I've been talking about, but enough of my problems. Uh, I've been talking about, oh, shiny. Look at that. Shiny, shiny. Uh, I've been talking about Stephen Wilson remixes of Yes. And it includes the Yes album, Fragile, Close to the Edge, Towers from Topographic Oceans, and the Relayer. And they all sound fine and dandy. I don't think you can complain about them. There's not a lot to complain about apart from the price and maybe they should have put a booklet in just to, you know, to say this is the S50, just to celebrate a picture book. I don't know. But that's just that's just niggly, niggly, niggly. So anyway, we're done. If you want to help this channel, if you want to help me, you want to help you want to help me, don't you? Yeah. Don't forget to like this video or dislike it. It's engagement, it doesn't matter. And leave a comment in the comment section below because we've all been a bit lazy we've all been a bit lazy i do try and reply to you um what do you think of this is this a good thing is this a bad thing do you think they should bring out a box set of the original pressings in a nice box so then you can get totally confused yeah that's a thing but of course be nice be nice you don't have to have a go at me you don't have to tell me i look like a paedophile that's not a nice thing is it because it's not it's not true it's not true um, and if you are nasty to me, your comments will be deleted or held in the spam folder. Because I'm here to be insulted by you. No, no I'm not. But if you really want to help, there's the Twitface, which is the social media. Yes, I'm on Twitter and Facebook, that's where I post the nude pictures. Um, come over there. Engage. Engage. It's all about engagement, isn't it? It's all about engagement. If you really, really want to help, this is the important one. Come and give me all your money at patreon.com. www.patreon.com slash lock. It links in the description. And sign up. You know. E begging. That's what I, that's it, you know. But I could do, really do with the really do with the help. I could really do with the help. Anyway. What else is there? Oh, of course, there's music at darrenlock.com. You know, music.darrenlock.com. That's where you can listen to my terrible, feeble music. Sometimes you can listen to it for free. When you've had about, I don't know, three listens, then you have to pay for it. So, what can you do about it? So, I'm going big. I'm going big. I'm pushing. I'm, I'm doing what all the other YouTubers do, because I know this could be a big video. I should have done it on the other one. I should have really pushed. Pushed. <laughs> And everyone will unsubscribe and piss off. But anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully this has been some use to you. I know some people want me to do a compare and contrast with the original pressings of the actual physical differences. I shall be doing that. That will be a video. So do stay tuned. Do subscribe. Subscribe. Because I will be doing a... Oh look, this is the old pressing. This is the new. That will be a bit of fun, won't it? Because we are kind of celebrating Yes's 50th anniversary. We are trying to get through some more of their reviews. So we have a general Yes vibe on the channel. And, uh, and that's it. Thank you for watching. I think I've, I think I've bored everyone with this. There's only one more thing left to say. He said is, oh, my potatoes are boiling over. But more importantly, prog on. <laughs>